Good morning, bow fishing lovers. Today on this edition of the Bowfishing Association of Illinois YouTube channel, we are going to show you how to fillet this beautiful, freshly shot, slimy bowfin. Now, bowfin is a native fish, uh, very highly regarded in Louisiana as a food fish. Uh, not so much up here. Not so much in Illinois. And I think the main reason is the meat tends to be a little slimy. Uh, mushy. And the most important thing is to fillet these as soon as you can. You know, while they're still alive, especially this guy's been on ice and he's still got some nerve reflexes. But in addition to the meat, both in also have really good uh, quality eggs that are uh, processed in the caviar. And as any fish, fillet is pretty simple on these. There's really no bones in them. They're easier to fillet than a gar. You don't have the bones to deal with that you do with um, the Asian carp. But they're also not as uh, not as good eaten as the Asian carp. And we're just gonna fillet them off. Is uh, don't really have a backbone. They got a chunk of cartilage on there. guy is assuredly dead but he's so fresh that he's you're gonna see him bouncing around a little bit see there's that piece of cartilage right there I'm gonna fillet around that and this is a pretty easy procedure but I just want to show everybody how uh, they are 100% edible. Like pretty much all the fish we bowfish for, except for the nasty, disgusting common carp. And common carp are actually very good to eat if you get, depending on the water quality they come out of. Most of them around here got very muddy waters they live in though and they tend to taste like the mud these guys here are 100 percent meat eaters they don't get in the bottom and uh root around like the carp do you know they got some ribs there but they're not not real bony they're very small very soft. Mm. I'll just take them down to there. Should have sharpened this knife up a little bit before I started. The scales are a bit, a bit tough. This guy here, don't see any eggs in her. Look like a female by the size of it, but uh, but no eggs, which is sad because the eggs are very very good if you like caviar it's one of the highest quality caviars you can get I'll give this a quick rinse I 
say the worst problem with these is very slippery. Makes it even worse when it's chilly outside and your fingers are freezing. I think it's about 30, 35 right now out here. Just enough to not freeze up the boat, not freeze up the, the hose, I mean. cut there but my fingers are numb but as you can see we get a real nice chunk of meat from these guys You can see by the structure of it, it's really not, it's really not mushy. It's not mushy like they say, but by the way the meat, the folds are in the muscle tissue. You know, you ever see these things swim, they're like a snake. We can see their meat kind of moves that way. But the meat is firm. It's not, if, while it seems mushy because it's flexible, it's mainly because of the, the meat structure. But the actual meat is firm. Now this... This will fry up real nice, no no fish taste at all on them. This is uh, good a piece of fish as you eat. I'll turn this guy, I think I'll chop him up and mix him up with some, uh, get the other filet of course, mix him up with some uh, onion and um, celery. And then uh, make uh, cakes out of them or hush puppies or something. But anyway, you get your meat out of the bowfin you shoot, they're a really good eating fish. Uh, they're not overpopulated. They don't hurt game fish, so shoot what you can eat and leave the rest alone so people have them for years. Hope you like this video.